The light has arisen in the darkness for the upright of heart. The Lord is generous, merciful, and just. We mark ourselves as the sign of God's great love for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Merry Christmas. To think our Lord Jesus Christ wishes to work in us, that the Holy Spirit would not just descend upon us, but enter into us and share with us the life of the Trinity. Let's call then that wondrous work when Jesus first gave us the sacrament, the Holy Spirit entered into us, and God the Father claimed us as his child. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray.
Spirit like a dove descending upon him. Merry Christmas. I don't have to tell you that the Bible is full of symbolism. The Bible, in many respects, it's written in code. We have to know the symbolism to discover the code. Now, there are all kinds of stories in the Old Testament that never finish. They are like loose ends. Well, that's the reason the New Testament is written. The New Testament ties up these loose ends. But in order to see this, we have to grasp the symbolic meaning of these stories. Solve the code. Now, it shouldn't surprise anyone that Jesus winds up Finishing the open-ended stories, tying up the loose ends, solving the code for us. Remember Noah and the dove? The story of the flood. Remember God destroyed the world by water. Because God saw how great was man's wickedness on earth, and how no desire of man's heart was never anything but evil. That's why the waters came. God was so grieved over man's corruption by Satan that God took the only good and blameless man, Noah, and his family, put them safely in an ark. What the ark is. This time 
time it comes back with an olive leaf in its bill. Noah waits seven days. Sends out the dove a third time. But it doesn't come back. See? A loose end. What happened to the dove? Where did it go? Fast forward to the baptism of the Lord. The dove symbolically appears as the Holy Spirit and descends on Jesus as our Lord comes up out of the water to baptism. What is water? Water is the means by which God destroys evil, sin. Jesus takes our sinful humanity, goes down into the water three times. How many times did Noah release the dove? Jesus is the new Adam, the new man begotten by God. Jesus is the new creation made free from sin like God wants his favorite creatures to be, holy, righteous, open to doing God's will always, loving God, accepting God's love, returning God's love. trouble is our new American Bible. The translation misses a vital point by its bad translation. We say the dove descended upon Jesus. No, no, it's wrong. Not descended upon, but rather the better translation of the Greek is descended into Jesus. The Holy Spirit of God has entered into the new creation that rose up out of the waters of baptism, Jesus Christ. We say, when we are baptized, we are baptized into the body of Christ. We say, we receive into ourselves the body of Christ when we eat Holy Communion. See that? You and I become new creations in Christ through these things called sacraments that only the Catholic Church gives us. To have God within you, which St. John told us in our first reading, is the only way to have eternal life. You must receive these sacraments of the Catholic Church. The sacraments of Jesus Christ died on Calvary to give us. They have to come inside us. Not just fall upon us. Few moments, you will see that dove, the Spirit of God, descend on our altar in Maytown, Illinois, the smallest church in the Rockford Diocese. The dove descends upon our altar. No. The dove, the Holy Spirit. Same dog Noah released, but it didn't come back after the third time. Now the dove comes back. Jesus Christ becomes present, enters not upon you, but in you in Holy Communion. It gives you eternal life. See the symbol? 
evangelicalism? The Catholic Church has unlocked the code for you. We stand in awe to our God and our prayers. Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing the Holy Spirit to enter into you at your baptism. Teach us, through your Catholic Church, how to allow us to allow the Holy Spirit to enter into us through your sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, our lives and our stories without an end full of loose ends, fits and starts, and the life of holiness. We beg you to write the ending of our lives. Give us integrity in the practice of our Catholic faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The drought brought back the olive branch. May the Holy Spirit keep seep into the bodies of the sick, those holy oils that they need to regain their physical health. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, in your baptism, you rose from the waters of sin and death to receive for us the proclamation of your Father's love and the dissension of the Holy Spirit. May our beloved dead rise to new life with the Trinity following their purgation. We pray especially at this Mass for the repose of Robert Kellum, but also for our beloved Pope, Pope Benedict, for Justin Corcoran, and for Gil 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 Gilbert Howard Hall. Eternal us grant to them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. May Robert's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. We'll pray our prayer for fasting and prayer this day as we dedicate this day for the uh, con continued conversion of our hearts to a whole life culture in Illinois. Heavenly Father, you've given us your great gift of hope by gifting us with the reversal of Roe versus Wade. Bless the state of Illinois with good and holy leaders to guide and place us on the right path. We offer you our prayers and fasting in thanksgiving and for this intention this day. We call the Hail Mary prayer to our lady, asking her to remind us of our baptisms and to say a prayer for our parents and our godparents and the priest who baptized us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you here to answer all of these prayers and to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the of all this holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices. Which, which we offer you, firstly, for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, and all those who hold into the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, especially James and Henry Wolfer, parishioners of St. Patrick's Church in Utah. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those whom you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. The day before he was to suffer, to bread in his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven, to you, God, the Almighty Father, give me thanks, he said, the blessing broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a way, when the supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, once more giving you thanks. He said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death for the Lord until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we are servants and your holy people, offered to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Malam Pizadek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. Humble prayer we ask, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, especially Robert Kellen, Gilbert Hall, Justin Corcoran, our beloved Pope Benedict. They've gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your service of those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
By this, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. Now, oh, prayer, spiritual communion, prayer, especially for our beloved dead, Robert Kellen, Pope Benedict, Rupert Hall, Justin Corcoran, all the souls whom we wish to see now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present through the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you my soul. Since other people dear to me cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come with the Spirit into their hearts. So you are already in our hearts. Help us to raise you and unite ourselves wholly to you. Permit not that we should ever be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Prayer, prayer, prayer. My Jesus, I love and adore you. You have come to me. I am you. I want you to remain with me forever, in this life and in the next. Thank you for allowing me to share my life. May I become more like you through the sacred food. Let me never take it for granted, but always pray for those whose lives are dark with sin. Ignorance and selfishness. Let me remember the words of St. Paul, that there but for the grace of God I go away. Each day I can become more like you, Lord, and each day I can pray for those who have never heard of your presence in the Eucharist, or who have heard it and rejected it. And let's pray. Will God who touch us? 
are partaking of your sacrament of the Eucharist. Work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We'll continue the tradition of praying the prayers for our Holy Father upon his death. We do that for the nine days following, so we'll do that uh, all the way up until uh, Monday, uh, the Feast of the Baptism this year. Uh, if you're not able to come to Mass and pray those prayers, I would just ask you to pray them at home with your family for the beloved repose of the whole Benedict. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. May Pope Benedict's soul and all the souls of faithful depart, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Now we just call your attention, uh, remember this Saturday, uh, tomorrow, we'll have our special uh, Blue Christmas Mass at our Church of Our Lady Perpetual Help and Salette at Mass at 11 o'clock, our Blue Christmas Mass. is to be celebrated for uh, all the souls from our three parishes of St. Patrick's, St. Mary the Assumption, and Our Lady Perpetual Help that we've lost uh, to death since last Christmas. So we gather them again together in the body of Christ when we celebrate the Eucharist tomorrow morning's Mass at 11. desire to love you as St. John Newman now does in heaven. We ask you to flood our souls with your spirit and with life, to penetrate and possess our whole being utterly, that our lives may only be a radiance to your glory. We ask you to shine through us, Lord, be so that every soul we would come in contact with this day may feel your presence in our souls. We pray our Jesus of Prague chapter for our six uh, family members, uh, for three of our beloved dead, and for uh, three parishioners from our three parishes. Sacred Heart of the Infant Jesus of Prague, bless and protect our families. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Immaculate Heart of Mary, we thank you for showing our mothers around your Son's glorious kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. St. Joseph, we thank you for praying for our dad and for showing him around your Son's glorious kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. St. Bartholomew, we thank you for praying for one of our family members. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our day. St. James, we thank you for praying for one of our family members. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our day. St. Andrew, we thank you for praying for one of our family members. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. Peter, we thank you for praying for one of our family members. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. John Newman, we thank you for praying for one of our family members. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. John, we thank you for praying for one of our family members. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. James, we thank you for praying for Robert Kellen to speed his entrance into heaven. Eternal rest grant unto Robert, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Robert's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. Thomas, we thank you for praying for Pope Benedict. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Pope Benedict's soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. Philip, we thank you for praying for one of our beloved dead, buried here at St. Patrick's Cemetery. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. Matthew, we thank you for praying for one of our living parishioners here at St. Patrick's Church in Newtown. And the Word became flesh. Dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. Jude, we thank you for praying for one of our living parishioners at Our Lady Perpetual Church Sublet. The Word became flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. St. Simon the Zealot, we thank you for praying for one of our living parishioners at St. Mary the Assumption Church, West Brooklyn. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for sending your holy apostles into the world, and St. John Newman, 
to pray for the people that we most want to see in heaven. Help us to do penance for our sins, that we enter sooner into heaven rather than later, and accept that gift of our baptisms, that gift of eternal life. And Lord Jesus, when your Father comes in to the banquet hall to inspect us of our garments, may he, all, may he find them all sparkling white. Sacred Heart of Jesus of Prague, bless and protect our families.